faster writing, super fast reading. My friends, I have with me here something really fun today. I've got a two meter Thunderbolt 3 cable and I've got this QNAP 10 gigabit 10 GB. And I've got this QNAP 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter that converts your 10 GBE into a Thunderbolt 3 connection. And we're going to be testing the performance of them both. The spoiler is... Okay, so that's some really fast performance using Thunderbolt directly. That goes 1,200 megabytes a second. The writing, super fast reading. But of course, this one is limited to two meters, whereas this guy, you can go a lot, lot longer with 10 GBE. Secondly, this guy can get a bit noisy. So the adapter is making some noise from the fan. I'm around 30 centimeters away. So I recommend, you know, sticking this two meter cable into this guy and putting him really far away from your desk and then hooking it onto a 5, 10 meter, 10 GBE cable and you're set for life. That's perfect. Regarding speeds, the fastest I can get this one to go is... Look at that speed. Look at it go. Overall, it works, so I'm happy with it. Hope you found that useful. You know, who else is covering NAS drives? NAS drives are awesome. They're the future. And this NAS drive, I love it, honestly. It's a NAS that's faster than a DAS. 1,200 megabytes a second, seriously. That's the speeds I'm getting. 1,200 megabytes a second. Check it out. It's the QNAP. Thunderbolt 3 to 10 gigabit Ethernet connector. Ooh la la. Ta-da. Look at this gorgeous device. Now you put your Ethernet here and you get your Thunderbolt cable in here. And it's got a little fan and it comes with a Thunderbolt cable. So it's supported out of the box for Mac and for Windows, you need to download this driver. And that's it. You plug in your Ethernet cable into the switch or the QNAP device itself and the Thunderbolt cable into your laptop. So I've got here a category C6A cable and this is my 10 gigabit Ethernet. And simply I plug one side in here Thunderbolt cable in here and the connector side I'm going to plug directly into my NAS drive. Thunderbolt and that's my 10 GBE connection. So the 10 GBE adapter is connected. I'm going to log in and I'm in. RAID 0, boom, and let's try some file transfers. I'm going to be transferring 89 gigabytes. Perfect. Let's launch disk speed. So I've got four Iron Wolf drives in there as a RAID 0. 3, 2, 1. The read is around 210 and the write is 640. Now I'm going to test the Thunderbolt connection. Okay, so that's some really fast performance using Thunderbolt directly. Let's try Agile. I'm getting 628 on the right and 162 on the read. read. You Note, know, to unlock super fast speeds, you need to follow the guides in the QNAP product page. System preferences, network, Thunderbolt Ethernet, and then click on advanced, go to hardware, make it configure manually, and then we set the MTU to 9000. So that should give us a 6x boost, jump over frames. Click OK and apply. Look at that speed. Look at it go. Cool or what? All right, my friends, I hope you found that useful. NAS drives, they are seriously awesome. Forget DAS, this NAS is a killer NAS drive. I want to know what NAS drive do you have at home? Let me know if you don't have one and if you're using external hard drives, shame on you, my friend. It's 2019. Welcome to the future. Faster writing, super fast reading.